Hi, Namaste. Welcome back to another interesting topic of our English class. Before starting today's class, let me ask a question. Do you have a bright memory? Sometimes you said like this, mom or dad or teacher, I forgot to write my homework, right? Yes. Forgetfulness often put you in a tight spot. But forgetting a part of your life completely may drive you crazy, right? Yes, guys. Today, we are going to discuss a beautiful and interesting story, Bibin Chowdhury's Laps of Memory, written by Satyajitre. Here, our hero Bibin Babu forgot a part of his life. So, let's see what happened to Bibin Babu. Yes, guys, Bibin Chowdhury's Laps of Memory. I'll read the whole story and give you line by line explanation. I request you to Read along with me and understand the whole story. Shall we start? Yes. Every Monday on his way back from work, Bipin Chowdhury would drop in at Kaliterans in New Market to buy books. Here, our writer Satyajitri mentioned his habit, our hero's habit. Every Monday, our hero Bipin Chowdhury visit Kalicharan's shop to buy books. What type of books? It's mentioned here. Crime stories, ghost stories and thrillers. He prefer, our Bipin Chaudhary prefer crime stories and ghost stories and thrillers. And he had to buy at least five at a time to last him through the week. At a time he is five books and he finished, he completed within uh, a week, those five books. Then he had to buy at least five at a time to last him through the week. He lived alone. Next, here he mentioned his features, his characteristic features. He lived alone, or Bipin Chaudhary lived alone, was not a good mixer. Not a good mixer means what? And he's not a person who is able to mix up with other people. He's not ready to mingle with other people. So he was not a good mixer and had few friends. He didn't like spending time in idle chat and he is not ready to spend time to chat with his friends. Okay, so uh, he didn't like spending time in idle chat. Today at Kalicharan's, Bibin Babu had the feeling that someone was observing him from close quarters and he turned round and found himself looking at a round faced meek looking man who now broke into a smile. One Monday, our Bipin Chaudhary visited our Kalicharan's uh, shop for buying uh, books. On that time, he noticed someone was uh, looking or someone was noticing or observing that person or someone was observing him. So he just turned back and looked on that and he saw a person, a well-dressed person was uh, observing him and he turned around and found himself looking at a round face meek, meek means what? a quiet or humble a meek looking man who now broke into a smile I don't suppose you recognize me that person uh, said I don't suppose you recognize me I don't think you realized me right? he asked or he said have you met before? asked Bibin Babu. After hearing this, Bibin Babu asked, Have you ever met? Have we met before? The man looked greatly surprised. So, we met every day for a whole week. I arranged for a car to take you to the Hudro Falls. And he recollected those days. He recollected his memory. And he said, That person, that man, explained, Sir, Yes, uh, we met every day for whole week and I arranged for a car to take you to the Kudru Falls. Do you remember that? In 1958 in Ranchi and my name is Parimal Ghosh. And sir, my name is Parimal Ghosh. I arranged cab, a taxi cab to you. Okay, do you remember those things? 
Ranchi. Now Bipin Babu realized that it was not he but this man who was making a mistake and he thought that our uh, Bipin Babu realized that that man was making mistake and it was not he but this man who was making a mistake and Bipin Babu had never been to Ranchi and he had been at the point of going several times but never made it and he said that Yes, I was planning to visit Ranji, but I was not able to visit that place. Okay, so it's not me. You are mistaken, he said. And he smiled and said, Do you know who I am? And do you know who I am? The man raised his eyebrows, but his tongue and said, uh, but his tongue and said, Do I know you? Who doesn't know Bipin Chaudhary? Okay, after hearing that question, that man, our Parimal, Parimal Ghosh, said why not who doesn't know Bipin Chaudhary we all know who is Bipin Chaudhary and Bipin Babu now turned towards the bookshelves and said still you are making a mistake what often does I have never been to Ranji so you are mistaken I never visited Ranji but I wish to visit Ranji but even now even at this moment I didn't get any opportunity to visit Ranji, so you are mistaken. And the man laughed aloud. The man now laughed aloud. What are you saying, Mr. Chaudhary? Oh, Mr. Chaudhary, what you are saying? What is this? What you are saying? Your hand had fall in Kudro and cut you right knee. I remember those days. I know, I know, I can remember those incidents or those days very well. On that day, you had a fall in Kudro and cut your right knee. Right knee. I brought you iodine. On that time, I gave you a, a primary treatment. On that time, I gave you a primary treatment. And I brought you iodine. I had fixed up a car for you to go to Natahat the next day, but you couldn't because of the pain in the knee. Can't you recall anything? So, can't you, sir? Can't you recall all, all these incidents? Someone else you know was also in Ranchi at that time, Mr. Dinesh Mugaji. And don't you know, on that day, uh, Dinesh Mugaji was also living with you. And someone else you know was also in Ranchi at that time, Mr. Dinesh Mugaji. You stayed in a bungalow. On that time, you were staged in that bungalow. And you said you didn't like a tape put and would prefer to have your meals cooked by Bhavraji. So on that time you said that or you mentioned that you, you didn't like a uh, hotel food. So we arranged a Bhavraji. Bhavraji means a cook. Mr. Mukherjee stayed with his sister. On that time Mr. Mukherjee, uh, he was also uh, stayed with you, with his sister. And you had a big argument about the moon landing, remember? I will tell you more. You always carried a bag with your books and in it on your sightseeing trips. Am I right or not? I remember those incidents. And you always prefer to carry uh, a bag full of books in your uh, trips, sightseeing trips. I remember those things. You always carried a bag with your books in it on your sightseeing trips. Am I right or not? Bibin Baba spoke quietly, his eyes still on the books. And he didn't give any reply and he was still searching some books. Which month in 58 are you talking about? Hmm? In which month you are talking about? In 1958, which month I visited our Ranchi? The man said, October. Yeah, it's October. No, sir, said Bibin Babu. And that time Bibin, sir, Bibin Babu said, No way. I spent puja holidays in 58 with a friend Kanpur and you are making a mistake. Good day. So you are completely mistaken. In 1958, October is a holiday, puja holidays. I spent my puja holidays with my friend at Kanpur. I spent puja in 58 with a friend in Kanpur. You are making a mistake. Good day. But the man didn't go, nor did he stop talking. So he was not ready to leave. So 
he still uh, he was not ready to stop talking very strange one evening i had tea with you in a veranda of your bungalow and you spoke about your family you said you had no children and that you had lost your wife 10 years ago sir why can't you remember those incidents on that time one evening i spent you on one evening i shared tea with you we we sat together uh, in a veranda and on that time you said that uh, you had no children and your wife you you have lost your wife and that you had lost your wife 10 years ago and your only brother had died in sea which is why you didn't want to visit the mental hospital in ranchi okay in say means mentally unstable and you you shared your family details to me i still remember those incidents or those uh, things why can't you recall those uh, incidents which is why you didn't want to visit the mental hospital in ranchi when bibin babu had paid for the books and was leaving the shop the man was still looking at him in utter disbelief and that man our parimal coach was uh, was not able to believe because he shared all those incidents but our bibin babu was not able to recall that incident a part of his life that's the first part mentioned here let's revise the first part every monday Vipin Babu visit our Kalicharan's bookshop to buy books. One day he met a strange man in that bookshop, and his name was Parimal Ghosh. But unfortunately, our Vipin Babu was not able to realize that man. So Parimal Ghosh uh, explained some of the incidents related to Vipin uh, Chowdhury. and the incidents happened in ranchi but he was not able to realize that man or recognize those incidents and he left that shop that's what we discussed in the first part so next next let's look the second part what happened to bibin babu is yes, next let's look at the second part bibin babu's car was safely parked in betram street by the light of cinema and he told the driver as he got into the car just drive by the ganga will you see the ram yes and he entered into the car and uh, said to his driver sidara uh, just drive by the ganga driving up the strand road bipin babu regretted having paid so much attention to the intruder in that journey he was thinking about the words of parimal ghosh and his words was disturbed and that his words parimal ghosh were parimal ghosh words disturbed our bibin chaudhary and he mentioned almost all the family details of uh, bibin chaudhary then how could i forget how could, how could i forget those incident and he was thinking about his words he had never been to ranchi no question about it and he is 100% sure i never visited ranchi bibin chaudhary thought and it was inconceivable that he should forget such an incident which took place only 6 or 7 years ago uh, as he mentioned it was happened in 1958 it's just 6 or 7 years before then then if it really happened how could i forget how could i I forgot the, those incidents why can't i remember those incident he had an excellent memory and unless bibin babu's head reeled was he losing his mind but how could that be he was working daily in his office he was still working uh, in a reputed company or an office and it was a big firm and he was doing a responsible job and he was handling or he was doing a responsible job so an excellent memory is essential uh, for his work so he was wonder or uh, that he, he was not able to remember those incident that's why he was disturbed how could i forget those incident then he wasn't aware of anything ever going seriously wrong only today he spoke for half an hour at an important meeting and yet 
and yet the man knew a great deal about him about him how he even seemed to know some intimate details that's the problem he he shared some of the intimate details that means he shared some personal details he shared some of the personal details the details related to me how could he know if that was actually not happen how could he know those incident or those things how could he know the bag of books wife's death brother's insanity he mentioned almost all the incidents and the only mistake was about his having gone to ranchi not a mistake a deliberate lie the only one mistake actually it's not a mistake it's lie he told our bibin choudhury told that yes it's a mistake the only one lie he uh, mentioned is my visit to ranchi i never visited ranchi in 58 during the pujas he was in kanpur at his friend haridas bakshi's place all bibin babu had to do was write to no there was no way of writing to haridas and he want to confirm he want to confirm uh, regarding the incident happened in uh, 1958 so he decided to at first he decided to write to haridas but then only he realized he was not there bibin babu uh, no there was no way to write into haridas because bibin babu suddenly remembered that Haridas had left with his family for Japan some weeks ago, and he went to Japan. So, uh, and he didn't have his address, and he didn't have his address. But where was the name for proof? Then, then how how could I confirm those incident? How could I confirm uh, or verify that incident? He himself was fully aware that he hadn't been to Ranchi, and that was that. the river breeze was bracing and yet a slight discomfort lingered in bipin babu's mind aaron hastings bipin babu decided to roll up his trousers and take a look at his right knee our parimal ghosh mentioned uh, or he said parimal ghosh said in ranji our bipin choudhury fell down at a hundro fall he get injured in his right knee so he remembered those those words and so he uh, roll up his trousers and take a look at his right knee and there was the mark of an old inch long cut so he saw an old inch long cut and it was impossible to tell when the injury had occurred by by seeing that injury and it was impossible to Uh, realize or to tell when the injury had occurred had he never had a fall as a boy and cut his knee he tried to recall such an incident but could him and he tried to recall that incident but he was not able to recall then bibin babu suddenly thought of dinesh mugerji and he suddenly he thought about dinesh mugerji that parimal ghosh mentioned on that time on during those periods i shared uh, or i spent time with dinesh mugerji in that bangalore so he decided to check it with dinesh mugerji then bibin babu suddenly thought of dinesh mugerji the man had said that dinesh was in ranchi at the same time the best thing surely would be to ask him he lived quite near in benenandan street what about going right now but then if he had really never been to ranchi what would dinesh think of bibin babu asked for a confirmation he would probably conclude that bibin babu was going nuts if yes and he decided to check it with bibin uh, dinesh mugerji but he think if actually that incident was not happened how could he think about me he may think uh, i am a nut i was going nuts he would probably conclude that bibin babu was going nut no it would be ridiculous to ask him no it could, it would be ridiculous means foolish it would be foolish to ask him or to check with uh, dinesh mugerji and he knew how ruthless dinesh sarkasm could be and our bibin babu uh, no 
how ruthless ruthless means how cruel how cruel is dinesh dinesh sarcasm sarcasm means fun he he makes some fun so uh, how ruthless dinesh fun could be so he was not uh, ready to uh, ask this incident directly to dinesh mugerji sipping a cold drink in his air conditioned living room bibin babu felt at the again such a nuisance just because they have nothing else to do they go about getting into other people's hair actually that incident was disturbed disturbed our bibin babu he realized such a nuisance just because they have nothing else to do for what purpose he shared those incident oh okay, that's why i am disturbed it's like they go about getting into others people's hair it's an idiom means interfering with and annoying people it's a famous idiom in english uh getting into others people hair then after dinner snuggling in bed with one of the new thrillers bibin babu forgot all about the man in new market and after having his uh food he has the habit of reading books so after dinner snuggling in bed with one of the new thrillers bibin babu forgot all about the man in uh new market so he forgot that those incidents and he forgot parimal ghosh and the incidents were have related to that person and he was completely engaged in that book next day in office bibin babu noticed that with every passing hour the previous day's encounter was occupying more and more of his mind very next day again those incidents the words of uh parimal ghosh uh came to his mind If the man knew so much about Bibin Babu, how could he much? How could he make such mistake about the Ranchi trip? If the man he he thought, if the man realized or if the man shared almost all the personal details of uh, Bibin Babu, how could? If the man knew so much about Bibin Babu, he realized if the man know so much about Bibin Babu. how could i forget about that trip how could he make such mistake about the ranchi trip just before just before lunch bibin babu decided to ring up dinesh mugerji at any cost i finally he decided to uh, call dinesh mugerji it was better to settle the question over the phone at least the embarrassment on his face would show 235616 bibin babu dialed the number hello is that dinesh this is bibin here and he called he called dinesh mugerji and hello is that dinesh this is bibin here well well what's the news i just wanted to find out if you recalled an incident which took place in 58 and he enquired or bibin babu enquired i want to know one thing i just wanted to find out if you recalled an incident which took place in 58 I want a confirmation. Uh, can you remember an incident happened in 1958? He asked. 58. What incident? He he asked. Our Dinesh Mugerji asked. 58. What incident? Were you in Calcutta right through that year? That's the first thing I have got to know. I want to know something. Uh, during those periods, uh, where were you spent? Where were where you in Calcutta right through that year? That's the first thing I have got to know. Oh, wait just a minute 58 just let me check in my diary and he said i uh, just a minute i want to check it with my because it's happened 7 years before uh, uh six or 7 years before so i want to check it with my diary then for a minute there was silence and bibin babu could feel that his heart beat had gone up he felt that his heart beat uh could feel that his heart beat had gone up and he was sweating a little hello Yes yes I have got it I had been out twice yes I got it uh, bibin I have got it I had been out twice two times I went out where once in february nearby to krishna nagar to a nephew's wedding one in february once in february nearby to krishna nagar to a nephew's wedding and then but you would know about this one the trip to ranchi you were there too he mentioned yes and the second one it's trip to ranchi and you know the those trip 
and you were there too you accompanied with me you were there too that's all but what is all that sleuthing about for what purpose is sleuthing means investigating an event but for what purpose you are investigating those things it's happened seven years before i uh, know i just wanted to uh, anyway thanks he mentioned okay i just i just asked for anyway, the thanks he said and bibin babu slammed the receiver down the grid his head with his hands he felt his head swimming finally he confirmed yes that incident was happened but after hearing that after confirming that incident he felt his head swimming a chill seemed to spread over his body there were sandwiches in his tiffin box but he didn't eat them he had lost his appetite means he had lost his hunger he was uh, not ready to have his uh, lunch so but he didn't eat them he had lost his appetite so in the second part in the second part he realized or he confirmed that incident with dinesh mukaji he called him confirmed so this is the second part of the chapter so guys i hope you all understood the first and second part of the story you should read the first and second part and underline the difficult words and find out its meaning with the help of dictionary so thank you guys see you in the next class